What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And as you can see, it's time for another massive tech unboxing. This one is number 34. Listen y'all, today's stuff looks crazy. So you know the deal, grab your snacks, grab your drinks, cause we got a lot of tech to open up. All right, Ari, you wanna pick? You know I can't, don't do this. Ah, she can't <laughs> pick cause we got a sponsor y'all. We got something from the good folks over at Rhino Shield. So let's see what they sent us. All right, you guys, so they sent us a ton of different cases, screen protectors, all kinds of good stuff. But what's really crazy here is their new 3D impact screen protector. Like, I think we're all pretty familiar with tempered glass screen protectors. Ari's got, listen, let, let, me, sh let me show them what we're talking about. You guys know these uh, typical tempered glass screen protectors, right? The ones that always end up cracked in some way. Oh snap, babe. I'm surprised your finger's not cut up right now. You gotta, you. Somehow I managed. How, how do you work with a tech channel? That's crazy. So check this out. This is it. And it's way more flexible. You can't do this with a tempered glass screen protector. This is a regular tempered glass screen protector that we're all used to. If I try to bend it like this. Oof. <gasps> oh my God, Judd. Whew. Look at that. Shattered. Oh my God. Tons of pieces. Okay, so should we just put one of these on? Yeah. All right guys, so I got it all installed right now. It looks and feels like it's actually glass, uh, but it's not. So that's great. It gives you edge-to-edge -edge screen protection. You got 100% screen coverage. So you're pretty much good to go. And I feel like this wouldn't be a Rhino Shield spot without dropping it. All right, so we're gonna use one of these Mod NX cases. Okay, so we are all set. Let's go drop this thing. All right, so we got the phone here and we're gonna do some regular stuff like Let's say you're just walking around, phone slips out your hand, whoops. Yeah, phone looks absolutely fine. Now that's a pretty standard fall. Of course this thing is gonna be able to take it, but what if we go up there and try and see if this thing could survive an even bigger drop? Okay y'all, you ready? And whoop. Whoo. So we are looking good. This is what you expect, right? So you guys start for yourself. This combo is definitely a winner. But if you guys are interested in picking up your own, I'll have links down below in the description so you guys can go ahead and check out Rhino Shield and their new 3D impact screen protector. I don't know how we lost the unboxing knife like one product in. It's kind of ridiculous. Either way, Ari, babe, you ready to pick the first or uh, second box? I want the chair. Oops, spoiler alert. I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you guys are not about to do this again. <laughs> Jay did it last time with the, t the modern man. Ari, come on now. All right, let's go for that white box up there in the plastic bag. Ooh. Is that a good one? Ooh, baby, you picked a good one. Yes. So this one is from our good friends over at Microsoft. Ooh, we love saying that over here. Can you take a guess? What do you think it is? If it's from Microsoft, I know what it is. Okay, never mind. Well, you guys take a guess. Pause the video. Leave a comment down below. Spoiler alert, it's not a controller. Oh, I like that. Insert dramatic music, Jay. Hey, oh, boom. What? Got my own pair of Surface earbuds <laughs> in your face. But that's not what's important over here. What's important is the Microsoft Surface Duo. And look at all the different modes that this thing has. Let's turn this box around. We got single screen mode. We got compose mode, book mode, tent mode, peak mode. Let's do unboxing mode. <sighs> all right, all right. I've never held one of these before. I only saw it from very, very far away at Microsoft's event. Whoa, this is way, way smaller than I anticipated. Look at this in the hand. Ah, we'll get back to that. Uh, let's see what else we have. Dual bumper. Oh, so it comes with a protective bumper. That's cool. I like that. Cool. No, I we like. want to see this, Jed. We want to see the phone. Nah, we got to build that suspense, <laughs> baby. And everybody's like, all right, yeah, Judd, fast forward. Yeah. <laughs> But you do also get a charging brick. All right, SIM ejector tool, booklets, that kind of stuff over here. USB Type C cable. Now let's get to it. Yes. Yo. Oh my this god. This is glass. Oh man. I am genuinely impressed here. This feels so 
premium. We've seen foldable phones, but this is a different take on that. This isn't a phone where you open it up and you got like one giant screen. You legitimately have two different screens. Should lead to a very different experience. I don't know if there are many other phones doing this right now in a single body. That's not like an accessory like the LG Velvet. But now because of embargoes and stuff like that, can't exactly show you guys how it works yet, but a video will be coming to let you guys know what the experience is like when using a phone like this for a day. What a good choice for the first one, Ari. Kudos to you. All right, Jay. What next? This one. Oh, wow, Second nice. Second biggest, why not? This is an unnecessarily big box. It's like a little keyboard over here. All right, guys, so right here we've got an Alienware keyboard. A little something to go with the monitor and mouse that we picked up in the last Massive Tech unboxing. I saw this keyboard and I was like, oh, this actually looks kind of cool. Look at this packaging, boo. Ooh. Fancy, right? All right. Okay. Pretty normal. Nothing super crazy here. Not super clicky. Now, this thing has a bunch of RGB lights. It looks really good. You have your volume switch over here, mute. You got a little Alienware head over here, which is also a button. Uh, I can't wait to make a setup out of this since you guys so heavily requested it in the last video. All right. And we got lovable cousin Carl over here. Pick one. That one. What, the one my hands on? Yes. Making my life easy. <laughs> oh, very nice. You're gonna like this one, Carl. Bought some kunais. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> some kunai. Is that like an anime nerd thing? Okay, don't even bother. Who invited her? <laughs> you invited her? Anyway, I wanted to have other unboxing knives here. I thought these would be kind of fun to have. Ooh, and they got the Leaf Village symbol on it too, ah. Carl. Ah. Okay, can, can we replace this knife right now since I lost the unboxing knife and just use this for the rest of the video? Are we are we good with that one, Carl? I am. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. I do not recommend these as unboxing knives because it has double blades on both sides. But I also got them in this color too. All right, Carl, which one do I use for the rest of the video? Black on black. Okay. <laughs> Ask Carl, but. So next up, it's good old Jed's turn. Let's go with the big old box, shall we? This is the M-Body gaming chair. We actually got a couple of M-Body chairs in the studio. Man, I miss the studio. But now we have a gaming chair for here. And oh boy, does it go perfectly with that setup. We got a little helper over here, Cookie Monster. Yeah. All right, let's unbox this thing, shall we? I like that it opens up easily. All right, oh man, this is quite the reveal over here, huh? Let's get rid of this giant box first, shall we? Oh, is it all like just set up and ready to go? For that price, it should be. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not cheap. All right, you guys ready for this reveal? Anybody? Yes. Okay, okay, what okay. What do you want to say no? <laughs> Woo. That's not the exciting part. There you go. <laughs> there you go. From behind. <laughs> like oh it? man, I feel like a gamer already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the idea here is that you're gonna be able to have like really long gaming sessions. I'm going to take it over to the desktop now. <laughs> He's steering the, how he drives, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, are you, what are you doing right now? I'm taking shots for no reason. Poor Cookie, oh my God. Cookie's like, what is happening? <laughs> All right, so you guys can see it for yourselves. This thing fits perfectly, does it not? Carl, what do you think? Is it worth it? I don't know. I'll tell you, it's probably not worth it. I'll be honest. <laughs> Actually, can, thinking about the price, there's no way this thing is worth it. Oh, that's a command center right there. That's a look. We changed the wallpaper to make it match a little more, but I can't wait till this video is over so I can sit in it. Got me feeling like Kakashi out here, man. <laughs> All right, guys, so check this out. So I actually picked up some security keys over from Google. People hack into accounts all the time. So I actually went ahead and picked up the Titan security key. I got two different forms, USB type C and a regular one so that I can securely log into my accounts and make sure that nobody can just go ahead and hack them. This is something I would say is definitely worth looking into. UAC recommendation, you wanna keep yourself secure. You know what, I'm tired of keeping this thing up, so let's open this guy over here. Oh, nice. So I actually ordered these off of Amazon, leather desk mats. So if you guys want a nice mature looking setup, you want something that you can put your mouse and keyboard on at the same time, we got these desk mats over here. And I like that they sense it like this to protect it. Oh, that looks clean. That is. Wow. Nice. This is 
actually a lot better than I expected. So like I said, they got it in brown, they got it in black, and I think there's smaller versions as well if you just wanna put it on like uh, as a mouse pad. But man, it smells good too. <laughs> Big box. Huh? Big box? Yeah. What, this guy right here? Yeah. From our good folks over at Gundam Planet. Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 don't do that. Sorry. Don't do that. That came out. But Gundam Planet actually has a sister company called Figure Eyes, where they have like a ton of other figures outside of the Gundam world. And you guys know me, I'm a huge anime head. So I love all things anime and they, they carry like all kinds of figures over there. Yo, Carl, I know you're gonna like this one. Got the boy Zoro over here. Look at this guy, Carl. This is from One Piece, as you can tell. We've also got Luffy over here. We got a boy, Leminion, Lemillion from My Hero. We fell in love with this yeah, guy, I didn't know, we, I Ari? Know, yeah, we did. Ari tried to front like she don't watch a little anime with me sometimes. <laughs> and Jay, check this out, my dude. Oh, even Jay is like, what? <laughs> so Figure Eyes has, like I said, a ton of different things. If you are into anime, all that kind of stuff, I'll have them linked down below in the description. You guys go check them out. Gundam Planet's where I get all my Gundams from. Definitely hit them up. So we got a lot of stuff from the P.O. Box, guys. Let's hope we get some wins over here. Oh! Oh my gosh! Wall mount selfie stick kickstand. That is dope. So it comes with a letter and some fake money. Cool. Could have sent real ones. <laughs> a little bribe, <laughs> perhaps? <laughs> so you can take it. Throw it on there like this. Use it as a kickstand like that. Okay, I like it. I mean, throw my logo on anything and I'll like it. But this is dope. Thanks Akeem for sending these our way. Okay, some truly wireless earbuds from Tozo. Tozo sent us the NC9s. They exist. Oh, it's the other Satoshi uh, leather mat that I was talking about. This is the smaller one. So if you just want to have it as a mouse pad instead of like a giant pad, you got this over here. There you go. Still looks clean. All right, let's go for this small one over here. Oh, yes. Okay. So we got ourselves a G-Shock watch over here. Now you guys know I love my G-Shock watch. This is one my sister-in-law got me. I love this thing. <sighs> I'm liking it already. Oh, man. You like that, Ari? That's really cute. It looks clean, right? Yeah, yeah. Does it have tech features like the other one? Or? It does. Oh, okay. So this one can also connect through Bluetooth to your phone so that you can access all kinds of cool features like automatically updating the time, no matter what time zone you're in. You can also find your phone by hitting the connect button. So you can go into the app and do a few different things. Uh, I'm gonna throw this bad boy on right now. So what's nice is that it has an analog and digital watch face. So you can see the time. If you if you want a front, like you can't read the uh, regular <laughs> watch. I'm pretty sure Carl the, can't. Carl, huh? what does that say? Carl, <laughs> Carl what does Carl, that say? Carl, <laughs> uh, <laughs> go look at the digital <laughs> side. <laughs> go look at the digital side. <laughs> I won't, I won't, I won't. Oh, oh, he won. I won't. He won't, okay. All right, it's five. Five? All right, you lost. <laughs> Go on. Listen, it's okay. He grew up in a digital world. You're you're a dinosaur, so you know how to read that stuff. Uh -huh. I got you, Carl. No, you clearly yes, can't, can. but I got you. All right, let's see what else we got here. So what is this? Bye-bye, Bezos. So I think the idea here, you're supposed to put this on an Echo device. In order to activate it, I think you do some claps instead of calling out to so it's like if you want an Echo device, but you're also kind of scared of like Big Brother, you know? So you can control it a bit more in terms of when it's actually listening. Well, it's so ugly, you know? Like imagine <laughs> putting that in your house. Yeah, the design could, could use some help. All righty, what's next? Right here we've got, oh, I've actually seen this. The Sum Wireless Charger. All right, so here we have it. And we got a travel pouch. Oh, this is a nice USB-C cable. Look at that. Oh, this thing glows. Hey. Okay, and it's got some USB ports here too. Okay, 5,000 milliamp hours. Just throw it on top. Hey, and we're charging. Oh, and a light too. Oh, that's fancy. So this is probably one of the coolest wireless chargers I've ever seen. Kudos to some. Hazmat Media. Oh, I've heard about this. We got some bangers coming in at the end. All right, so this is the Genki Covert Dock, right, for the Nintendo Switch. So it just looks like a wall charger, right? 
but you've also got a USB port over here as well as an HDMI port. So essentially you could plug this guy into a TV, connect your switch through a USB cable over here and boom, you're playing on your TV. And it actually comes with all kinds of other plugs if you're in another country or something. We got a cable for the switch itself. This is dope, I like this. I can, I can see myself taking this around. This is gadget backpack material right here. Nintendo Switch dock, palm of your hand. Yo, the P.O. box is coming in clutch towards the end here. Another banger. Oh, we got another Nintendo Switch accessory. So this is the M Classic and it's supposed to provide better graphics for your game. Let's take a look at what it actually looks like now. All right, so this is it. You pretty much just have an HDMI dongle here. What systems does this work with? Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii U, Xbox One, S, X, GameCube, Genesis, and Super Nintendo Dreamcast. Dang. So basically, every console ever. I will do some testing and I'll let you guys know. Oh, I thought it was like a giant thing. Okay, so this is some kind of smart lock. Now this is an interesting design because it's like just a flat black screen. Oh wow, okay. And based on what this, this looks like, you know, you got like your touch panel so you can type in numbers to get into the house. This is clean looking, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is the inside though. Mm. Ari's not here right now, she's taking care of Austin. I don't know if this would get the pass for her in terms of whether or not she'd let us put this in the house. And this part is so that you can use it over Wi-Fi. Solid, solid. So we got Ari back, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. We got something from Jay, Jay picked something. So let's see what he What's got. meager. It, it what is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's meager. <laughs> What, is that? <laughs> what do they call them? I don't know. It's one of those things that like you don't have to touch surfaces with oh. this. In today's age, this is important. You walk around, you know, you open the doors, you gotta press a button on the elevator. I think you can even use it with the phone. Oh, are these nubs right here? They work with smartphones? Or like, you know, when you go into places and you do the touch screen ordering, you can use like, it for that. Like a Shake Shack. Yeah. Okay. So you just I like, okay, Jay. He only got one? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Only one of us needs to survive. Wow, <laughs> thanks, Jay. If you, if you don't get the Rona, you gonna get the Rona, boo. <laughs> so you can walk around, you got this in your pocket, you ready? Oh. Add, I don't add, like that, babe. Add just, extra fries. This is a little dramatic. <laughs> just like casually press with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the last package. Ari, do you know what this is? I do not. Does it have my name on it? It has nothing on it. Oh, looky, looky, you came just Oh, in time. I did buy that. So we got some baby tech, y'all. It's not, that one's actually not for babies. That's it's for, not for babies. For adults. So this will give you sleep sounds, a reading light, sunrise alarm, personal sleep routine. So if you want to work on your sleeping habits, this mm -hmm. is kind of something you would pick up. Right, exactly. For us insomniacs out there. You know, us new parents who aren't getting any sleep. Man, this ain't, <laughs> this ain't gonna help us get any sleep <laughs> as long as he's around. <laughs> okay, so you would have this, put it by your bedside, you plug it in, it'll give you your little night light. Cool. It's and, really nice. Yeah, and it looks like it has a really large speaker and I like the materials here. Okay, Ari, look at you picking up tech. Thanks. That's oh. going on my bedside. Wow. <laughs> she said, I'll throw this into the video. Yeah, sure. But it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that about wraps it up. We got some dope stuff, I'd say. I think we got some really awesome stuff. If you guys want to see anything in particular in a future video, those Nintendo Switch things, definitely going to be giving those a shot. But let me know with a comment down the below. The Microsoft Duo. Surface now, Duo. Yeah, you guys are gonna see a real day in the life with that for sure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives it a thumbs up. Uh, here's a little gift card for someone who made it this long into the video. Till next time guys, your average consumer. Peace. And another gift card. <laughs>